Hey you guys, it's Victoria, and I'm back for another video. And I really feel like that this video is going to be pretty interesting to a lot of people, if they're watching this, hopefully. So, as you can tell by the title, it's Why Are You Hungry All of the Time? And this is something I see a lot of, no matter what diet someone is eating, people are hungry all of the time. And this can be different things. It can be that you're a very active person, you're constantly working out, you're constantly busy, and the body just, you know, needs fuel. So that can be that can be a reason why you're hungry all of the time. And especially if you're eating a very healthy diet full of fresh raw fruits and vegetables, uh, organic, then yeah, that can be a reason why you're hungry all of the time. But if you're someone that is eating the standard American diet, good lord, I hope, you know, we have so much information in this day and age right now that if you're still eating the standard American diet, then you really, really need to relook at that and figure out why you're doing that because it's very detrimental to the body, heart, soul, spirit, everything. You know, food is so powerful and what you put in your body is gonna branch out to so many other things. You know, it's not just physical health, it's mental health, it's, it's so many things. But anyway, so God forbid you're eating the standard American diet. And you know, I don't say that in a condescending way because I ate the standard American diet for about 20 years of my life. So I'm not judging anyone because I've been there, I've done that and um, it didn't get me anywhere, but sickness, unhealth, overweight, you know? So yeah, anyway, um, if you're eating the standard American diet, then there is a good chance that you're hungry all of the time, you know? You know, people, especially in America, are choking on their obesity. They're choking on their um, gluttony with food. So you might have a pizza for dinner, and you might be so full that you think you're gonna pop, but then 30 minutes later, you're like, okay, I can eat ice cream right now. You know, I can eat again. And that is because you never gave your body the vitamins and minerals and um, all of the nutrients that it needed in the first place. So of course your body becomes hungry again. So if you're constantly hungry, especially for unhealthy things, then you, uh, chances are you have a horrific diet and you just need to clean it up. And the good news about all of this is that cleaning up the diet is one of the easiest things to do. And I know a lot of people think in their head that that's one of the hardest things to do, but it's not. It's so easy. Once you start giving your body the foods that it wants and that it was made for, you're just going to feel so much better that you really could never see yourself going back to a dead foods diet or you know the standard American diet, whatever name you want to call it. You're, you're just going to feel so good that it's like, God, how could I ever have eaten that for so long? And that's what I did. You know, I'm just speaking from experience. Uh, for so many years, I was, like I said before, choking on my own gluttonous. You know, I would eat so much of the wrong things. I had no energy to exercise. I, um, I was young, so I had a little bit of vitality. But, oh my gosh, if I had continued eating that way into my late 20s, 30s, 40s, if I made it that long without something crazy happening in terms of dis-ease, it just would have been horrible. And, you know, right now, I have so much energy to live, and I'm so happy. My spiritual uh, tank, whatever you want to call it, is very full, very vibrant, and I just, I'm able to using the law of attraction too. Look that up if you haven't heard of it. Using the law of attraction, I have pulled people into my life that I'm so thankful for and opportunities in my life that I feel are so beneficial for me. And I just, I'm living a wonderful life. And I know that you might think that changing your diet is, um, you know, that's, I'm being very dramatic because changing your diet can't change all those things in your life. Well, no, it can't. It can change all those things in your life, and that is what is so exciting. Um, so back to why are you always hungry all the time? I know I go on tangents sometimes, and I know that some people don't like long videos, but you know, I just have things to talk about, and I know that there's at least one person watching this who is uh, soaking up some of this information and hopefully can change their life from the things that I'm saying. So um, anyway, back to why are you always hungry all of the time? Well, another symptom of nutritional de deficiencies from not eating the right foods 
and always being hungry for the wrong foods is, you know, anxiety. So in this society right now, I see so many people that are, you know, full of anxiety or depression or panic attacks. And um, if you have those things, you really, really need to look at your adrenal glands and the thyroid, okay? So, but typically anxiety stems from you know, shot adrenal glands. And that's really rampant in the society because whenever you intake all of these horrible foods, the body has to process it and especially the kidneys. And where do the adrenals sit? Right on top of the kidneys. So they're pretty much like brother and sister. You know, when your adrenals are down, your kidneys are down. And when your kidneys are down, your adrenals are gonna be down. So since there's so much intake of horrible food in this society, our adrenals are so down. And for example, if you ever see a child with really dark circles, you need to look at your, at their kidney and adrenal glands. And you know, just on social media or on movies or on videos or anything, or in real life, of course, I see children with these dark circles and I just cringe every time I see that because that's nutritional deficiencies in them and that's really shot kidneys and adrenals um, from genetic predispositions from the mother, you know, and who knows whatever the mother w was eating in the womb was probably unhealthy, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I could talk for hours about this, but um, if you're having anxiety or panic, change your diet and look into your adrenal fatigue. Now, I want to also say, if you know and you think you have adrenal fatigue, please don't go to a medical doctor, a conventional Western medical doctor, because all they're gonna do probably is gonna give you some sort of a steroid. And we don't ever wanna take any steroids if we have adrenal fatigue, because that is just going to bring them down even worse in the long run, okay? So there's herbs for adrenal fatigue. Check out Dr. Robert Morse. M-O-R-S-E and check out his herbs and his glandulars and um, as always I recommend a raw food diet you know that's gonna bring up any gland and organ in the body it's gonna help detox you clean you out and it's gonna raise up the um, the workings of your glands and organs okay so another thing you that you might have is brittle nails dry skin brittle hair and those all are nutritional deficiencies you know and also if you have brittle nails, check the parathyroid. All right, and another symptom of nutritional deficiencies is you're tired all the time. So if you're tired all the time, that is another indicator that your adrenal glands are down. Um, but you also just might not be giving your body the life force nutrients that it needs, you know? You really need to see how many fruits and vegetables a day are you eating? And are they raw? Are they organic? Are they not processed? You know, are you eating vegetables that are loaded with salt and butter and you're calling that a vegetable? No, no, no. That changes it all. You know, you want to eat raw fruits and vegetables in their natural state without heating them and get organic because the organic produce is going to have way more minerals and um, all of that than the conventional plastic produce. I mean, I know that it's better than nothing, but this conventional produce is, a lot of it is GMO, and it's just not raised in soil that was very um, taken care of. You know, it's constantly turned over. It's all factory farming. And it's the same thing with organic grocery stores. Um, their produce is coming from factory farming as well, and I know that that's not ideal, but organic produce is better than um, conventional. So another thing is that your immunity is down. Are you sick all the time? So that comes from what you're eating as well. So first of all, we need to understand what is the immune system? Well, the immune system is the GI tract, your intestines, and your lymphatic system. So a system in the body that is constantly overlooked by medical professionals and by just the general public is the lymphatic system. So the lymph system, basically in a nutshell, I could create a whole another video on this. It's the, um, it's the sewer system of the body. So all of the toxins and all of the metabolic waste from everything you eat and the, um, the cells waste in your body. Remember, our body's just made up of about a trillion cells. Everything in our body is cells. Everything you're looking at, your hair, everything is cells. And all of these cells have waste, okay? So their waste 
and the toxins of the body get pushed out to the lymph system, which is like tubes all through the body. And there's also hundreds of lymph nodes, you know, there's like 300 lymph nodes in the neck alone. So when your lymph system gets backed up by a horrible diet, vaccines, all kinds of these things that are not uh, conducive to a healthy body, that is going to make you have a down immune system and then you're going to get sick all the time. And I've had experiences in the last two months of being around sick people and especially uh, I was really close to someone that was very sick and I feel like that if I had a down immune system I would have gotten that. I would have caught it and I would have been down in the dumps just like anyone else, okay, with a down immune system. Um, and I'm not saying I can never be sick because, of course, even with a healthy immune system, you can get sick, okay? But the chances of it are so much less. So, you know, that's a, just one of the huge benefits of the raw food diet is that your immune system just skyrockets and I don't ever worry about getting sick. Like I said, I'm not immune to it. I'm not a superhero, okay? But I have created my body to be a, a medium that is healthy and the terrain of my body is healthy to where if um, a bacteria or virus comes at me, it can fight it off. And it's so wonderful and I'm so thankful for it, you know? Another one. So if you're hungry all the time and you're constantly eating bad food, you're probably going to have digestive issues. Constipation, diarrhea, upset stomach, heartburn, um, just stomach pains. Uh, just, you know, not an overall feeling of well-being down in, G in the GI tract area. So this one's pretty obvious. If you're eating dead um, foods that aren't meant for the human body, especially processed foods, oh gosh, take those out of your diet. You'll feel so much better immediately. Then you're going to have digestive issues, and all of these can be eradicated by eating more fruits and vegetables, um, getting the system moving, and it's that can be fixed so easily but I know that that's something that is very prevalent in the society I used to have digestive issues out the wazoo and all of that's gone now and I'm so happy and it really it gives me a sense of peace that I don't ever have to um, you know even be constipated you know that's horrible and I know that that's a little personal and gross but we're all humans and we've all dealt with this at one point in time, if, especially if we've, if we've eaten a horrendous diet our whole life, which I know most of us have. I know most people walking around on this planet right now have been raised on animal products, meat, dairy, and, and loads of grains, okay? And now, processed food along with a lot of other horrible things like antibiotics and like I said, vaccines. So. Um, yeah, just clean up your diet and your digestive issues should go away. And if you have a really weak GI tract and you have genetic predispositions from your parents and way beyond them to have GI tract issues, then it, it's going to take time to detox and to strengthen the bowel walls and your stomach and to strengthen everything. But it will happen, okay? It's not going to happen in, in an eye blink. It's not going to happen in a week or two. It's going to take time to reverse a whole lifetime of damage. And, you know, our ancestors have been passing down the plates of horrible food for a long time now. And that's why um, the human species is getting weaker instead of stronger, you know? So now is the time. If we can um, flip our thinking and start eating healthier and put our priority on our health instead of our career, uh, then we could totally change the human species, in my opinion. So yeah, so that's all I'm going to talk about today. You know, in a nutshell, if you're always hungry, then you need to start looking at uh, the nutrients that you need. Start eating healthier, more raw foods, beautiful fruits and vegetables. I mean, I'm always going to be a proponent of that. And watch your hunger go away. You know, you eat a whole gigantic bowl of oranges, you're going to be very full, just as full as you as you would be if you ate a pizza, but you're going to be full of nutrition and water and um, it's just it's just going to be so amazing. But if you are deciding to eat fruit and a raw food diet, then you need to eat a, a large quantity of it. You know, you can't just eat one apple and think that you're going to be satisfied because these things are low in calories, 
but high in water and nutrient content. So you're just gonna need to eat more of them. Your body will adjust. Whenever you do start going towards a more raw food diet, watch the miracles start to happen in your life, you know? That's what happened to me. I have just had the most miraculous almost three years my whole life is different, and yes, it all came from my diet change, okay? So, I just wanted to give you guys those tips today, and I hope that they helped at least one person, you know? And um, I'm just, I, I love fruits and vegetables, and I always will. All right! <laughs> so that's my message, and thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye!